Hello everyone, and welcome back. I actually uh, did a bit of off-screen stuff, and uh, you can see my legs are healed. I used my bandages that were sitting in my inventory, which I forgot about, because I almost died. When any of your uh, body parts hit zero hit points, you die. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I was in this house over here. I moved next door, because none of the windows are broken, and the front door was unlocked. So I just walked right on in, and it was no problem. I did some organizing. Um, I have some woolen socks on. Which is nice. You can see that my feet are have a warmth of 50 right there. Uh, that's important at night time. And I've just done some organization. I got some food. I put my tactical helmet there. The gas mask is actually really important later. We'll need it when we uh, go into mines. Well, if we go into mines. Probably won't live that long. But anyway, right now, I'm off to go get to... Actually, this bookcase is kind of in the way. So we're going to move furniture to the... Le there we go. Whoops. Release. Yes. Got to release it. Okay. So let's go pick up our uh, bats. Is that a muffler? It's a pipe. Those are nice melee weapons, but we don't use melee weapons. Do not fight bats! Oh my goodness, bats are terrifying. They can in bite you and give you infected wounds. It's awful. Alright, whatever. Anyway, let's check out this uh, dead people area. Army pants? Yes! All of my yes. Incendiary grenades? I'll take those. First aid kit, the flashlight. Don't need the rest of that stuff. I will take off my jeans. Yeah, just drop it. And wear my army pants, because they have lots of room. And ah, I will pick up my jeans. Yeah, you can see the uh, steel toe boots. That's nice. That's nice. But my current sneakers give me a... Uh, a movement bonus. You can see the, the uh, rat is attacking me. You can just ignore it, really. There's a dog there. Uh, you have to be careful of them. Ooh, ooh, utility vest. Yes. Uh, torso encumbrance does not hurt your uh, throwing. So that's no big deal. Let's see. Not drop. Uh, what else do we have here? Whoa, lots of stuff. Entrenching tool. Yeah, that's cool. A boonie hat? I don't even know what that is. What's a boonie hat? Uh, boonie hat. A bucket hat. Does it encumber me? Nope. Okay, I'll just uh, wear the boonie hat. I'm not sure what a boonie hat is. In other news, we have more bandages. A smoke bomb? Heck yeah. We don't really need ammo. We're not going to be using guns. MREs, plastic bottles of water... Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. What else do we have here? More MREs, buckshot, and a duffel bag of, of uh, wonderfulness. Yes, a duffel bag, all right. We can carry around all kinds of stuff with a duffel bag. The duffel bag really uh, encumbers us, though. Yeah, we have torso encumberment of five, but that's okay, because we don't, we're not going to be doing any melee fighting. A plastic jerry can is actually really nice for uh, collecting water, but I don't think I'll need to do that. Though I will need it for gasoline. No, I'll have an electric car. I won't need gasoline. Tactical gloves. Yeah. Fitting tactical gloves, too. Awesome. Because now they don't encumber my hands, and they provide some protection. Yeah, there we go. Tactical gloves. Awesome. And I'm hoping I find a military ID card so we get into that bunker over there. Flashbang? Okay, sure. Army helmet? No. I don't want any uh, eye encumberment. Ballistic glasses? I already have glasses on, so no. Frag grenades? I'll take those. Um, I think that's all I need there. And I already see a first aid kit here. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, a Kevlar vest. All right. Wear the Kevlar vest. Now we're nice and protected. I think I actually will take the uh, steel toe boots. Where were those? Uh, filter steel. Over there. Okay. And steel toe 
boots. Take off my sneakers. Wear my steel toe boots. They fit, so it's not a big deal. Cool, let's go back to the house and uh, sort through all this junk. There we go. All right. Let's see. I'll put this in my tool area, the entrenching tool. Uh, I don't have a weapon area. I guess I do now. I'll put my frags and other stuff in there. My flashbang I'll put in there. I don't know why that's called a tool, but whatever. Oh, uh, let's actually wield that flashlight, unload it, and then drop it into my trash pile. Okay, and then my batteries I can put into my newly created battery pile. They get their own pile. See, that's my weapon pile. Everything else, uh, I do have some sneakers that I'll put into my sneakers area. This is the bathroom, but it's kind of far away, so I'll just ignore it and put my medicine stuff uh, right here, I guess. And drop the first aid kit and bandages right there. And then go to kitchen to drop off my water into the sink. And my MREs into the not functional fridge. Cool. Also, take off the duffel bag. Because, well, I don't know. Do I need to take off the duffel bag? No, because I don't, I don't do melee combat, so no, actually. That's not a big deal. No? Yeah, I'll just keep the duffel bag on. I can carry on a bunch of loot. So let's continue on. Wield the pointy stick. Actually, I could probably wheel a bunch more of those. Yeah, let's just make another one. Cool. And let's check this house here. This is a nice little secluded neighborhood. Break down this door. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty please? Okay, fine. We won't break down the door, we'll break the window and clean the window, and then come in through the window. Okay. Root beer, I'll take it. And what is in here? Uh, flare, computer science. That's nice. Under the hood, yes! And a wristwatch. Cool, cool, cool. Take that. Now we can see the time! Awesome! Computer science, leather corset, uh, no. Ooh, a downstairs area. That could be really nice or completely useless. Sneakers, scissors, don't need that crap. Chewing gum. Oh, wow. Let's see. What do we have here? We already have photo album. Hmm. I already have a uh, army pants, so I don't need anything else. Uh, take the flour. Cat food is good for getting cats, but we don't, we're not going to be recruiting any cats, because all they do is run off try and attack the nearest zombie and die. Cheese spread, alright. Useless butter knife, dust mask, alright. And now let's activate the flashlight and see what we have in here. That's melee fighting, we won't be doing that. Canned sardines, clam chowder, yeah, here we go. Food. Lots of food. Disinfectant. Yes, I will take disinfectant. Don't need any of that crap. I don't really use many chemicals in the game. Chemistry is kind of fun, but I don't think I'll be doing that. Spam. More food. Salt. Spam. Pepper. Yeah. I think I'll leave the pepper. I'll keep this. No, no. I can come back for that stuff later if I really want it. And more disinfectant. Vitamins are nice. They reduce your chance of getting uh, ambient diseases, which would be the cold and flu. But I always forget to use them because you have to constantly take vitamins like once a day. But I just forget. So no point in having them. Let's delete this note, though, because that flashing on the map really annoys me. And I believe that is this entire house. So, yeah. Got some nice stuff. I have plenty of space available because of my duffel bags. Let's go to... Just break the window. Let's go to the next house. 
Let's see what we have here. Leather gloves, new ammonia. That's really useful if you're doing chemistry, but I won't be doing chemistry, so no. Potato chips, I will take those. Scissors, fork, seasoned salt, meat soup. Oh, that's amazing. Cornmeal, veggies, beans, empty refrigerator, broom, vitamins, meh. A talking doll, no thank you. And another area that goes down. Hmm. So this could be full of zombies though, so you have to be kind of careful. Oh, this is a fantastic window that goes to nowhere. Hmm. Activate the old flashlight. Ah yes, there's a zombie Oh, this is a marijuana farm. Alright, whatever, we can, we can fight the zombie cop. Actually, no, I don't want to use up my uh, flashlight charges. So we'll just turn off the flashlight and go back up. He's pretty much trapped on there forever. Now, we do have acidic drizzle, which is harmless, but it might turn into acidic rain, which can kill you, especially if you're frail, like my character. Thankfully, we're in a nice, heavily uh, settled area, so it won't be too difficult. How long have we been recording? 11 minutes. That'll do. Go away. All right, smash. Enter home, and let's see what we have in here. Root beer, I'll take that. A charcoal smoker, ooh. Vegetable soup, do 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 do. Batteries, glass jar, cool, that stuff's all up there though. Let's see, root beer, any, any good books? No, not at all. Use the cell phone, umbrella, actually does not stop the rain, which seems odd, but, eh. A charcoal smoker, those are really strange. Yeah, you can actually use it to make meat. Uh, if I got some salt, I could make some... Let's eat that apple. If I got some salt, I could make... Beef jerky, if I wanted. Oh, I should probably get a frying pan and a pot, actually. Those are useful. Um, da -da -da -da, Clam chowder. Oh, man, I'm getting so much food. This is great. Cornmeal, yes, I can make bread with that. Or, cornbread. Pickled herring is disgusting, but you can use it. Glass bowl, glass jar, useless. And stuff. Plastic bottle, empty. Not useful. Alright, let's go back to the house and uh, put away our newfound loot. Alright, I'm going to organize all this off screen because that's probably going to be really boring. Hello again! Uh, you didn't miss much. I just uh, put the stuff away down here in the house and then I walked back up here and forgot to start recording again, so that's it. Anyway, uh, you can see everything's all nice and uh, unloaded, but you can also see that uh, you can also see that up here. Nope, wrong button. There we go. Up here, we have some uh, nasty people, and also, what the heck is this? Huh? Looks like a crater or something. Yeah, we have some uh, some bad guys up there, a zombie brute, not what we want, but to the south we have a moose, and mooses are scary. Oh, hey, there's that zombie cop we left down there. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, no, don't drop your uh, stick. Well, I mean, I guess I do want you to drop it. I want you to drop it very quickly in his direction. Eh, you know what I mean. Throw, pointy stick. Oh, no, get away from me, zombie cop. And through, point stick. Oh, no, get away. Get away. Shoot. Go away, zombie cop. I don't want you. And throw. Alright, and throw. Okay. He's still around. Okay. Pick up my pointy sticks. Annoying zombie cop is annoying. Throw. Shoo, go away, you and your stupid body armor. Go away! Ah! It's okay, though, because we are fleet-footed. Oh, strawberries. Hmm. Eh, 
Okay, throw. Pointy stick. Yay! Pulpus corpse. Did he have anything good? No. Okay, and pick up pointy stick. Awesome. Now there are some bad guys out there I should be worried about, but I'll go ahead and go in this house anyway. I don't really need any more food or anything. First aid kits would be nice, but I already have plenty of bandages and first aid kits and stuff, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get more food, but I don't really need any more. Fruit juice, peaches, cool. I have to eat those pretty quickly, though, else they will go bad. Also, the house I was in apparently had a bunch of stuff in it already. A bunch of frying pans and things, so I didn't even need to get those. If I go up here, my enemies will probably see me, but that's fine. Uh, I don't need to increase my survival skill to uh, 40. That's 2 out uh, 1. That's not really useful. I can do that normally just by butchering corpses like gloves. Da -da -da -da. Cannabis, cannabis, not useful. Boxing monthly, not useful to me. Okay, so I'd like to attract the attention of these zombie children and zombies, but not the attention of the uh, shocker zombie or... Any yeah, kind of zombies. Yeah, it looks like this is a crater. Uh, this probably is extremely radioactive, and I'll need to be careful. Ooh, God. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Yes. Yes. Good zombies. Just a few of you. Not... Ooh. I just wanted one or two to follow me. So it looks like I've attracted the attention of quite a few zombies. Run away, run away, run away, run, 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 run. I'm also leaving a scent trail. You can't see that, but everywhere I go, I leave a scent, and that's what the zombies are following. I have quite a few friendos following me. Is this open? It is. So what I can do is confuse them. Yeah, they'll, they'll, my scent trail will now be inside the house, which they can't enter. And now just this one zombie is here, and this one zombie we can kill all by himself. And throwing is actually silent, too. You can see down there, uh, under cloudy 19 degrees Celsius, below that it says sound zero. That's the amount of sound I'm producing with my last action. Throwing produces no sound. Ooh, crap. He bit me, but because of that Kevlar vest I found, no big deal. But I need to be careful about that. Even one little uh, bite can end up killing you if you're not careful. So I need to increase my fabrication skill. I can do that by farming uh, pointy sticks. I do need to get a uh, screwdriver, though. Okay, so the zombies... There we go. This one zombie should be following me. The other should lose my trail. Uh, no, don't drop the stick. Throw it at the zombie. This has been a very eventful first day. Oh, whoa, get away from me, zombie, and throw. See, we're getting really good at throwing. We're doing lots of damage with each throw. Well, okay, with most throw. There we, there we go. Yes, he had a hammer. Fantastic. Now all I need is a screwdriver. Okay, what is my throwing skill now? Four! All right. All right, so we have four zombies to kill, but... Five zombies now. I want to just lead them over here into the forest and sort of forget about them. Eh, I can take care of them. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get too close there. And throw. 23 damage. Yeah, heavily injured in one hit. BAM! Two hits and he's dead. 21 damage, and... 1 damage. Mm. And pointy sticks are actually pretty awful uh, throwing weapons. But, uh, you know, it's a start. Unfortunately, I'm having difficulty getting my throwing weapons back because these freaking zombies are chasing me. I also need to be careful about uh, leaving the corpses unattended because they will uh, resurrect themselves if 
I do not uh, pulp the corpses or butcher them, but butchering takes a while and is really loud. Pulping takes only a second and kills them. Let's see. Pointy stick. Nail gun. Absolutely useless. I'm in a forest. I'm not sure which of these are pointy sticks, which ones are heavy sticks. Yeah. Okay, here's my pointy stick. I can actually fabricate a... Uh... Yeah. Oh, God! I didn't... I didn't know it took that long to make a pointy stick. Good thing I stopped crafting there. Is this not exciting? Are you not entertained? Hey, don't throw the, uh... thing there. There we go. Throw it at the nearest zombie. Silly auto-targeting. And... I don't know what that was about. Throw. Fantastic. And throw. Awesome! You know... I wonder if rocks are now amazing, too. Let's find out. Let's throw this rock at this zombie child. One damage. Two damage. Hmm. Oh, there's a dog. Maybe he'll start fighting the zombie child for me. I do want to get rid of the dog, though, because they can actually gang up on you if more than one dog comes around. Five damage. Yeah, the rocks are not effective. Okay. Now we know. Throw, pointy stick, at the zombie child. Man, we're... No. Oh god, oh god, don't walk toward it, look toward it. Heavily injured, okay. Run away from the zombie child. Where will my pointy sticks go? Let's go ahead and start pulping these corpses, actually. There's a pointy stick. Whoa, 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 god. Good thing I'm, uh... Oh, I must have a really low chance of hitting him because he's a small target. Whatever. Oh, hey, cookies! Cool! Thanks for the cookies, man. I need to kill that uh, dog there. But first, I want to get my pointy sticks back and... pull these corpses. Now, tomorrow, I plan to go to this public works because it's full of useful tools and stuff. But it's already 1636. That's fairly late in the day. 13 damage, and pow, dead. Pointy stick. Okay. I want to... I want to increase my fabrication skill. So to do that, I need to just make a bunch of stuff. Stick, pointy stick, where's my fabrication still? One. Mmm, I might need to find a book about that. Actually, there is a library in town, but I don't really have the necessary resources to kill the zombies there. In fact, the public works is probably too full of dangerous creatures for me to kill. Oh, a coyote! Crap, run away! Run away, coyote! Ah! Eh, I could probably kill it, actually, but... Mm, sometimes coyotes can really mess you up. Ah, that coyote is following my scent trail. Okay, just run down south and kill him. One coyote by himself isn't too big of a deal. Coyotes are kind of like wolves, except they're a lot weaker. Two damage. It was a headshot for two damage. Uh... Oh, God! Oh, crap! Whoa! Dang! That coyote just ripped me to shreds! I'm losing a lot of blood, too. Oh, God! Do I have any... Oh, I don't have any bandages! No! Oh. Oh my goodness, that was really close. I almost died from that. From a single bite wound. From a coyote. Oh, jeez. Yes, over here there was a weasel inside the, uh... Inside my house. There is no longer a weasel inside my house. Well, let's drink some fruit juice and throw our plastic bottles into the trash pile. I might want to fortify this area. I do have a hammer now, so I can do that, but I want a screwdriver so I can take apart furniture and get nails from it instead of just smashing furniture. And put this stuff in my food pile. Not the matchbook, no. Shift G. Shift G. There we go. Put that in there. And now, uh... My arm is very hurt. My feet are warm? Hmm. Well, I'm in a lot of pain. Oh, where am I going? 
let's get the uh, first aid kit. And you actually uh, eat the first aid kit. That arm is broken. It needs surgical attention. Really? Uh, I've never had that happen to me in the game. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Well, good thing I'm right-handed. We will eat the first aid kit on our left left arm. Oh, man, the first aid kit just heals it all. Oh, because I have so few hit points. In fact, that's kind of a waste of first aid kit. So let's put that away and eat some bandages instead. Eat bandage on left leg. Eat bandage on left leg. Eat bandage on left leg. Eat bandage right leg. I never played as a frail character uh, before, and holy crap, they're not kidding. But hey, this is great. This makes uh, this makes me a lot more uh, wary of enemies. Probably should go get a gun actually, so I can fight off uh, you know stuff like that. Uh, but right now, we'll just put our bandages. Actually, maybe I should keep the bandages with me. So my left arm's broken. I'm not really sure what that means. How long have I been recording? I have been recording for 13 minutes. Dang, there it is. Go away, shoot. So, um... Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, This is the second part of my other part, which was nine minutes or something like that. Ah, this is a good enough place to stop. Okay, this has been Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Episode 2, Part 2, Folgut 2. Anyway, I uh, hopefully will find some way to fix that arm, because I actually have no idea what to do about that. Um, oh well, see you all next time.